Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are out here on one of the most beautiful maps that I think has ever come to this game. Now, this is Sequoia National Park, and it basically blends together so many elements of the game in terms of roleplay that so many of us enjoy, like, for example, camping, towing, but also trail riding, rock crawling, mudding, and it puts them all together in this massive open world off-road exploration based map that you can enjoy with your friends on both consoles and PC. Now, that brings me on to my next point. This entire adventure setup that you see right now is all available on consoles, including the map, the tow rig, the K5 blazer, the side-by-side -side on the back, and the gooseneck trailer. Now, all of those, obviously, some of them have slightly different names. Well, I should say, not all of them have slightly different names, but the Blazer has a different name. It's the Slay 5 on console instead of the K5. But otherwise, from that, everything else is the console version. So what I'm going to be showing you guys in this video is I'm going to be giving you a basic overview of this map. And we're not going to explore the entire thing because, obviously, that would take, you know, that would be an hour-long video in itself. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading to the campsite, then we're going to be unloading some of our vehicles, and we're going to be taking the K5 down some realistic trails, and then we're going to be doing some exploring in the side-by-side. -side. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire the tow rig up and get this adventure going. Roars to life. All right, let's go ahead and pull on out of the garage area. And the cool thing about this garage area is that it's very centrally located. And once you actually spawn into the game, you can really go whichever way you want and have trails immediately at your fingertips no matter which direction you go. Which I think is an incredible design choice from the creator himself. Now, if you guys are interested in checking this map out, I will of course leave a link in the description box down below to not only the map, but also every vehicle and trailer that you guys see on screen right now. So as we go down the main road, you can already see that there's a trail right there that goes up into the hills. I haven't taken that one yet, but the road I'm going to be taking is a dirt road down here on the left that will lead us to the campsite. You can see there's actually a sign pointing to the left that says straight to camp. Now, if I was to keep going straight, you can also see that there is a gigantic mud bog out there, and we're going to be focusing on that mud bog in a future video. Now, if you watched one of my recent live streams, you'll remember that Diesel Addict and I actually built crawler rigs of our own and went exploring on this map and actually not only found that that mud area was a lot deeper than we expected, but we also found that some of the trails on this map offer the most beautiful views that we have seen on a trail riding map in some time. Now, for example, that canyon down on the right actually has a fully functioning trail that runs basically all the way through it with several other trails branching off from the main trail. So there really is so much to do out here, so much to explore, and you can see that that canyon really does present itself as a main aesthetic feature of this area of the map. And also, keeping with the name Sequoia National Park, some of these trees are absolutely gigantic, and they really do give you a different vibe than driving through a lot of the other... Whoa! Slow down. That trailer almost whipped really hard. But no, it really does give you a different vibe and a different feeling than you get from driving through a lot of the other trail riding based maps. And you've got a cabin out there, you've got a little bit of a motel out there, but that's not exactly where we're going. We're heading down to the campsite, like I said before. So let's give it just a little bit more throttle. Went with six speed towing transmission in this truck. We're almost there. Bro, if we throw these vehicles off the trailer before we get to the campsite, I'm gonna be very upset. I feel like for good reason too. All right. So there's our campsite down on the left. Let's go ahead and pull in. Pull right into camp. Now, some of these uh, some of these campsites have cars at them already, but if you really wanted to camp there, you could literally just push them out of the way. I wouldn't even worry about it. This one right here is definitely probably one of the campsites that I prefer to use, not only because of the fact that there really isn't anybody there already, but it's a very easy one to go ahead and back into. Now, you can bring an RV out here. You can bring a highway truck out here. You can bring a pickup truck out here. It's really up to you, depending on what you want to do. And that's the other cool thing about the campsites on this particular map is that they're extremely easily accessible no matter what kind of vehicle you're in. I mean, you could come out here with a default highway truck and it would make it out here no problem. So if you wanted to do something like that, that's totally, totally doable. Now, I want to kind of inch the gooseneck behind the tent. It's going to be a little tricky to kind of line it up right, but as soon as I can get it into position, it works very well, nice and easy. Not bad. Not bad. I just want to get out of the main road. That's kind of my main goal here is to get out of the main road. All right, so there we go. We're good. 
And God, I love how it's like right next to this little lake too. I absolutely love that part of it. So let's go ahead and put the ramps down. We'll get these unpacked. Well, actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we unload right there, hang on. Wouldn't it be better to just unload these things on like an actual flat plane? Because technically, we're above the, like, we're still out of the road. I mean, we're kind of in front of the tent, but we are out of the road. So I think I'm going to go ahead and unload them on flat ground. Look at all these tire tracks I'm leaving. God, the campground manager is not going to be very happy with me. Let's get it backed up. Not bad. And now we can go ahead and get them unpacked, put the ramps down, and shut the engine off. God, I just, I love the scenery out here, though. I could stare at this scenery for hours. Absolutely hours. All right, let's get the side-by-side -side down first. Oh, my God. It's such a beautiful area. Such an absolutely beautiful area. All right, got the side-by-side -side down and ready. Let's go ahead and put it next to the tent. Easy does it. All right, you're good to go there. And now we're going to go ahead and shut that one down. Swap over to the K5. Let's fire you up and get you off the trailer. Easy. Bring you back down. Not bad at all. All right. So now we're going to use the K5 to actually show you guys one of the most beautiful and one of the most scenic trails that I've seen on this map so far. Now, I explored this trail with Diesel Addict on a recent live stream, but we're, what we're actually going to do this time is we're going to actually run the trail in the opposite direction because that way you guys will actually be able to see some of the really beautiful features of the trail very early on. And we're not going to run the whole trail, but we are going to run a good section of it and especially the section that I find to be particularly beautiful. So let's go ahead and get right up here to the main road and we'll make a quick right and there should be an entry point to this trip bruh oh it's right down the road i was like i was like wait a minute did i already pass it yeah that didn't make sense at all now for those of you that basically can spend you know like hours upon hours upon hours exploring realistically made trails you're absolutely going to just have a field day here. You're going to absolutely adore this trail system. Now, it begins with a very realistic, uh, or at least if you're going at it from this direction, it begins with a very realistic little kind of like rutted up trail setup uh, with some, you know, some loose rocks hanging around. But this isn't exactly the highlight of this trail. The highlight of this trail comes a little bit later on. Now, you can see how it kind of disappears into the canyon in the distance, but we're kind of going a little bit faster through here than I normally would on a realistic trail ride, but I'm doing that because I really want you guys to see this canyon. The canyon, to me, is one of the absolute highlights of this entire map, and I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to be like, you're going too fast, you need to slow down, and I'm like, you know, I really just want to show you guys this canyon. I Trust me, I'm going to slow down when I get to the canyon. All right, easy, and you can already probably see why it's such an epic feature of this map. But let me go ahead and bring you guys a little bit further on, and there it is. That, my friends, is one of the most beautiful features of any map that I have seen in a very, very long time. And when I first drove through here, I honestly just kind of got quiet. I was soaking in all the details and the visual, really just like the visual beauty of all of it. Apparently, it's very easy to get your vehicle twisted up going down this hill. I haven't gone down this direction before, so going down this hill, uh, if you're doing the trail the opposite way, seems to be a little bit weird. And actually, that front tire kind of wanted to glitch on me there, too. Not sure why, but let's make it just a little bit further down. Got to go a little bit slower, I guess. These are definitely designed for that very slow trail riding approach. But I do have to say, if you're looking to enjoy this map in the most realistic way, this K5 or Slay 5 on consoles is definitely one of the best vehicles to bring out here. Definitely is going to give you that realistic trail riding experience. I'm going to turn my lockers on so it doesn't try to keep turning me around. It, it keeps trying to turn me around like constantly. So let me make my way. There we go. Not bad. Not bad. Am I going around the wrong way? You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Now, one other thing that I love about this map is the, the lighting and the use of lighting. Because that's not something a lot of people tend to think about when they're playing a mod map in SnowRunner. But the way the light comes into the canyon and reflects off of your vehicle and the way you actually see the shadows of the trees really, again, adds to that that aspect of making it feel real, aspect of making it feel believable, and making you feel like you really are there. 
and at the end of the day, I think that's that's what you want when you're on a map like this. That's what you want when you want to kind of get lost in that realistic experience, you know? Because if you're coming out here and you want to enjoy these trails at kind of that slower, more realistic pace, you want to get lost in the environment. You want to get lost in the visuals. You want to get lost in the experience. And this map does such an incredible job of helping you get lost in that experience and really kind of making you forget about the pace, making you forget about time and making you forget about really everything except just driving along and enjoying these trails. And nobody really tends to do these ravine slash canyon style environments. And I think, you know, when really, really good map creators like design an environment like this, it really does stand out in the community. And I think it stands out in such a, such an incredible way. We've got like a little bit of a mud trail right up there to the left if you wanted to go that way as well. Man, there's so many options for trails. So many freaking options for trails. But the rest of this trail system goes down through the rest of the canyon, but we're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're going to grab Lime side by side, and I'm going to take you guys to one of the other very interesting sections of this map so you guys can see what it's all about. Now, we are going to load it back up on the trailer. That way, we can just kind of like, you know, scoot it down there on the trailer, then unload it, and then it'll be good to go. And plus, we got to go on the main road to do it. So, I don't know, if, I don't know how they feel about uh, driving side by sides on the main roads around here. All right, let's go ahead and get you on the trailer. We'll shut you down. That's definitely a little small for this whole trailer, but I'm not worried about it. Fire it up. Get those ramps off the ground. I said get those ramps off the ground. Thank you. Should be already packed. Yeah, you're good to go. Not bad at all. It's always nice when you pack a vehicle in single player and you don't have to worry about multiplayer desync when you pack vehicles on trailers. It doesn't happen to me in every lobby, but some lobbies, I mean, you guys, again, you guys know if you watch my multiplayer live streams, uh, those desync issues get very real very fast and it's kind of just something that this game's online system slash physics system kind of just has to deal with sometimes and it, it just doesn't allow you to always pack vehicles on trailers. So, you know, being able to pack vehicles on trailers very, very easily and very smoothly and it always is reliable every time is kind of a nice refreshing feature when you play single player. So as we make our way down this main road, eventually we'll end up at the mud section and the mud section is it's gnarly i mean it will swamp out even this truck limes aries on a full mudding setup if you're not careful there's a couple of spots out in the middle where i mean it gets extremely gnarly and it gets gnarly fast so actually this lot right up here on the right will give us a perfect spot to go ahead and unload and let's go ahead and swing this trailer wide we'll pull right in and let's see what do we got going on here is this like a uh, fuel point looks like a fuel point yeah we got like a little uh actually fuel station right there not bad at all all right let's go ahead and put the ramps down once more unpack that side by side stop the engine and we'll go ahead and hop right in now for those of you that are more of a fan of the dedicated rock crawling style you may find more trails that you uh that you enjoy for like extreme rock crawling out at say something like tnb trails but for someone that's looking for a very once again i know i keep using this word but a very realistic take on an off-roading environment you're gonna love this place you're absolutely gonna love this place now that's not to say that tnb trails is not realistic it is very realistic but it's definitely an environment where if you don't bring a built crawler you're not going to make it through a lot of the trails. And this map has so much variety. I mean, if you could bring a realistic trail rig out here. You could bring a mud rig out here and enjoy the mud. I'm kind of driving it in the shallow stuff right now in the side-by-side -side because I know that if I take it out there, it's going to get swamped real quick. But there's really all different types of trails to ride out here. And at the end of the day, you could spend hours out here by yourself or with friends. And the fact that there's a campground also makes it totally applicable to a camping role play or camping slash trail riding role play where you and your friends bring out a group of rigs, set up camp, and then go trail riding. Or like, you know, it, it, especially if you wanted to play through an entire like day and night cycle, you could have a day trip on the trails and a nighttime trip on the trails. Let's send this out into the deeper mud and see how long it lasts. Probably not very long. Oh yeah. Oh no, that swaps it out real quick. Now granted, I'm not on any kind of like, you know, massive tires. So I completely expected that to happen. But I'm sure that this thing would get a lot farther if I brought it out here with like the max size mud tires, the max, uh, you know, 
max power engine, the max speed gearbox. I'm not running any of those on this thing right now. But this map is definitely one of my most recommended maps for you guys to check out on both consoles and PC because this map is, of course, available in both places. And at the end of the day, it's just a very well-made map and a very enjoyable environment. So hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.